Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex Strikes Back. In the last episode, we cleared out... We finished up Tier 2, was it? Or Tier 3? Yeah, Tier 3. It's been a little bit. And now we're gonna take on Tier 4. We already cleared Cold Hard Crash, now we get to do Hanging Out. I'm afraid to spin there, because last time I did, the, the, the barrel just exploded. For literally zero reason. So we're not gonna risk that again. Alrighty, if you couldn't tell by the name of the level hanging out, we're gonna be hanging out. Thankfully, we're not going for all the boxes, thank God. You guys don't understand the relief that brings. I was a bit too slow there. Had I just went straight forward, I could have made that fine. As you're probably wondering why I sound so burnt out, well, I just recently got done with the 105% crash run. So when I get to that game next, I'll be doing it normally, thank the, thank the heavens. And then I can just show off its secret ending. Which is a godsend. It really is. Because even though that's my favorite of the three games, and it is the easiest, I've had the second least trouble with it. Yeah, funny enough, I have the easiest time with the hardest game in the lineup. Weird, huh? It's like I love all three games. I've really come to. I've really grown on. This one's really grown on me the more and more I've played it. It's like, it's, this game's a lot of fun. I just don't like how endings are locked behind. Good, the good ending of this game is locked behind 100%. That is so stupid. Like, I got the plot MacGuffins, I defeated the main villain. Let me enjoy my good ending. It's not like, you know, Undertale, where you just go back through a little bit more of the game. It's like, just a, a, a fun amount of extra stuff. Anyways, back here is the death route, we won't be using that. There's the crystal. And there's a bunch of rats. Ah, we don't need to hit the bonus. I'm good on lives, I just want to do this, beat the game. I love it, I'm having fun with it, but I think I've had enough boxes for one day. So I'm just gonna ignore the bonuses from now on, unless I really need them. Switch my tri- oh, of course. I actually switched my triangle button to my R2 button, so... Because in Crash 3 they introduced something new and I needed my triangle I needed my V key to be the tri to be the R2 button and my R2 to be the triangle. It's complicated. Ooh, a cutscene. Crash, I haven't had much time. Cortex has almost completed the new space station. Something is not right with this statement. Beware of the Alright, we get it, Coco. You're suspicious of him. Anyways, I'm digging it. You are? Are you? Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this Let's Play. Don't get me wrong. Me sounding burnt out aside. I'm just burnt out from collecting gems and stuff. Not playing these games. because Just playing them through, they're a lot of fun. Alright, those black guys are annoying. You have to get on top of them, the center of them, and then body slam them or you'll just bounce off. Try to spin into them, you'll hit their little thorns there, and you'll die. My best recommendation is just to plainly ignore them. You're gonna waste your time trying to go for them and most likely get hit. Because once you pass them, they won't shoot anymore. And as if you notice, this place is using the boulder assets, the chase level assets, in a kind of unique way, I guess. It's just another linear level like all the rest with its own gimmicks and stuff. It's kind of nice to not be chased, though. It's now like a normal level. Right, wait till an opening presents itself, and then slide on through. Easier said than done. Alrighty, there we go. And these fences are timed, so you gotta dodge his bombs, his exploding plant juice, and then pass on through and it's safe. Watch out for the tiki dudes. I, I've heard they can insta-kill, though I may be hearing wrong. There's a bonus. We don't need it. We are doing quite well on lives. 44 is pretty good. Yeah, there's a death route here, and you have to go through it and then backtrack through this route. Anyways, a new enemy, bees. When they get close, just 
spin into them. Or if you continuously run, like this, I'll show you. Get far enough and they'll stop chasing you. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, electric fence is gonna be your bane. Thankfully, these levels were meant to be ran against the camera, so you can see just fine. Oh, here's a new thing. You can dig in this dirt. I guess soft soil. Though it looks more like hamburger meat. Uncooked. Give me a lump of fruits. Let's dig under. Yeah, you can just run over them and they'll break. Be careful, though. You, even though you may be invulnerable to most hazards... You're not invulnerable to nitro, so don't go spinning into it like a dipstick. Like a dipstick! Ah, Overwatch. It's like you're meant to foster bad players. I know their whole thing is play nice and play fair, which is good. I'm glad they try to promote that, but it's like the game is meant to foster bad people. Also, yeah, I missed it. You see that plant right there? He's actually gui guarding a secret level. So if you jump on that lonely little island right there, you'll be teleported to a secret. There's the nitro detonator. May as well hit that to get rid of any future nitro boxes. Uh, we got Mario there with the hammer, so let's take him out. Yeah, I know he's not Mario, but he does look like him, doesn't he? No! Yeah, those bombs may not hurt us, but they'll still send us flying. Those bombs will, and funny enough, if you get blown up by them without a mask, it looks like Crash has indigestion. Ah, indigestion. Indigestion. It's a joke uh, SGB made when Matt died to one of them once. Ah, indigestion. Like he got a stomach ache or something. It's like, that's hilarious. And that's it. Also, those mallet guys can mallet you in the dirt, or soft soil, or hamburger meat. So do be careful of that. It just my headset a little bit. It felt a little off. There we go. And with that, we have completed tier three, if I'm correct. Let me check. Ah, we have two more levels. Crap. Let's go to the road to ruination. Just like my life. Yeah, I make jokes about that, but it's it, it's it's scarily true. We seem fine for now, and Dad still hasn't thrown a fit, so Alex may have... My brother may have misheard him. Yeah, watch out for that dick nitro crate. Also, I think there's a death route here. Or it's a gem platform. I don't remember. Yeah, I overshot the crap out of that. That death was my fault. I got a little hasty. And I paid the price. Doesn't matter if there's a rat here or not. I don't have to do it. I don't have to do it. I've done it once. I'm not doing it again. You get 100% in these games, and you'll understand why I don't like doing it more than once. Like, Crash 1 isn't... I think Crash 1 is the best in terms of 100%. You may have to go back to levels later and redo them, but... Hell, at least there's no bullshit. You just have to beat the level perfectly. That's it. Like, nothing else. Just beat the level. Oh! I forgot those were nitro boxes. Also, you notice the green gem platform here? Also, yeah, it looks like you can make it over there with a spin jump. You might be able to, a sliding spin jump, if you're really skilled. But as far as I know, you can't. That's kind of funny, isn't it? It's like that green gem platform takes you like five feet to the right to hit a death route. Which I think only has a box, with only has a gem. It's like, what the hell? It's like, why not just make it a death route platform and use the green gem for something else? A little more useful? <laughs> Whatever, that takes care of the rat. That's one way to kill it. That's one way to take care of your rat problems, is to blow you and it up. Okay, that was my fault. Let's not die this time. Tink. Uh, let's wait for the platform. We have no choice, because I was a little too quick. Alright, be careful. You will start sliding off this thing. So 
so. <laughs> yeah, I gave up on life. Crashed it. Fuck it. I quit. Let's not mess up this time. I'm blowing him up with those TNT, whether he likes it or not. I think I got him. Yay, I was floating on thin air. I love the fuck logic mentality I have with this playthrough. It's like, what other zany things are gonna happen? Watch as Wacky Steel gets into more shenanigans. Yeah, there's the Nitro Detonator. Good luck spinning an enemy into it. What I'm gonna do is hit this, and then go back and hit it, because... You know, it'll get rid of any future endeavors. Ah, forget it. I'll just... Pfft. Grab the mask, Crash. It's like they place you just an inch off of it. Also, you can spin into these logs. Or jump over them. Your choice. I killed myself. Why was there a checkpoint? That's pretty much the end of the stage. That doesn't make any sense. It's like I'm sitting there thinking there's more level, but it's just one last little platforming challenge and you're done. It's like, good lord. Alright, last level of the tier. Behaving. We better behave or we're not going to make it. That's a few deaths. This is going rather smoothly. Defined smoothly. Now let's go underground so we don't get bombed by Fudge Lord there. Yeah, I don't like those plants. They're such jerks. Alright, immediately get into the soil. Yeah, I was too slow. I shouldn't have done that, actually. That was a stupid idea. The hamburger meat failed me. Alright, we have bigger beehives here, and they'll shoot out multiple bees. Good luck taking care of them without going underground. Yeah, they won't pop up if I'm correct while you're underground, too. Also, don't run into the nitro. I said you can get hit by them, so don't do it. Now, let's ignore the bees. Screw their couch. Boop. Now, let's jump out and then make a leap of faith over those crates. Yeah, I've had mistakes happen where I die by them. Ah! ah. Whatever, I'll take it. Keeps the bees from spawning and we get through. Alright, under the ground. Yeah, those bees are dangerous and so is the mallet dude. He's not a threat above ground, not as much of a threat. He's much worse when you're above ground, of underground. So take care of him first. Also, we have another secret level. I think this is the last one in the game. You see those nitro boxes? Yep, they're fake. How can you tell? Well, you notice they're not bubbling and making that sound and jumping. So I guess that's supposed to be like your clue. Something's up. I think in the remake they put in Wumpa Fruit in that spot. It's like whatever helps, I guess. I love the slide jump. It helped me get so many gold relics in Crash 3. What are gold relics? Well, you'll find out when I get to Crash 3. The game introduces new things, relics being one of them. They just told us they were gold relics. I'm not telling you what they do or what exactly they are, they're just relics. What could these relics be? They introduce a lot of new things to Crash 3, and I love it. Crash 3 is such a good game. So is number 2. As I said, I would highly recommend playing these and not get 100%. If you really need to, do it once and never again. These games aren't impossible or anything to 100%, but they're not easy either. If you're going for 100% in these games, you will be tested. It will put you to... This game will put you to the test. It will test reflexes and everything you got. And that's it. Game lagged there a bit. Let's finish this level. Hell, let's give the boss a shot. Why not? We have time. And you guys don't care whether I do an episode or really how long it is, so long as it's entertaining all the way through. And what's that? Tier 4 is complete. Crash, I have a 
I've discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nictris Rio, the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Rio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination, and he's at it again. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, crack. Use the platform to deliver the crystals to Angel. Alright, he heard the man. Let's deliver those crystals. Looks like we're done. How are we supposed to do that? Well, it's never that easy, is it? It's boss fight time. And we can telekinetically shoot fruit from our face. And this boss is not hard at all. Just be careful of his laser attack when he does it. My best advice is to stay far away from it. When it goes up, just run under it. Alright, let's take out his right hand. Well, his left hand. Yeah, you have to hit your spin button to throw the fruits. I think any button but jump does that. Alright, let's take out his left, his right arm now. Now watch out for the laser. There we go. Yeah, this is probably the easiest boss in the game. Since you don't have to get close or anything, you just have to dodge attacks. Alrighty, phase two. And he has his, he's at his last three hit points. Now he'll shoot missiles, which are incredibly easy to dodge. Watch for the shadows on the platforms. Yeah, hitting those missile pods are a lot harder than it looks. You look at it and you think, ah, oh, that's not so bad. Uh, trust me, it is. By the way, those missiles will always go in a set pattern, so if they come from the left first, then just stay on the right side, then when they come from the... Now we just have to stay over here if you don't know. Because once he's down to one missile pod, he'll shoot one missile at you, and that'll go along the ground to these platforms. And jump! That was pushing it. And his final phase. He'll shoot a death laser that'll blow up your platforms, and that's your chance to take a few hits at him. So don't be standing on it when he blows it up. And that's it! Master Cortex will be very displeased with your resistance. Prepare to wrath! Funny enough, there's a game called Wrath of Cortex. It's on the Xbox. Supposedly it's like Crash 3, but without the energy. Uh, what is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals. Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. Yeah, he sounds very friendly, doesn't he? Now let's save our game, let's utilize that. And in the next episode, we're gonna take on... Rocket!